Major Chris Warner, I'm the uh, Tactical Air Command Center Division Head at MOTS-1. So the purpose of my visit during this week was to put on a senior watch officer and an ace watch stander course, basically just to prep the MAG-24 staff as they get ready to go out and act as an ace command uh, for exercises like Balakatan. So the course is pretty much almost all academics. Uh, we wrapped up with a small tactical decision game at the very end, but uh, the academics was primarily focused on educating the aviators and some of the 7041s, the aviation operations specialists uh, in Marine Aviation Command and Control. My name is Ezekiel Giron. I'm a captain with VMU-3. I'm currently the current operations officer. I thought the practical application at the very end was the most useful. Uh, you learn about all the different agencies, but they're so specialized, it's hard to see them outside of their function. And then the practical application at the very end of how it all tied together was, I think, the most eye-opening part for me. Major Edmund L. Hooks, I'm the MAG-24 Assistance Operations Officer. The course uh, that we hosted in connection with MOTS-1 was designed to provide the MAG-24 staff with a foundational level of understanding on command, control, as well as communications. So we're looking to leverage that with our McCree that's coming up at the end of the month to provide some C2 capability to VMM-363 as well as MWSS-174. As we get some of those learning points from that exercise, and we're going to bring that to Balakatan, which is a joint exercise that's gonna be held in the Philippines. Overall, the entire purpose of this is to be able to leverage that C2 capability as we integrate with the third MLR to provide greater access and greater capacity throughout the Indo-PACOM area.